Oh, some of your favorite superheroes as well as some villains are going to be there. Of course, we are talking about Comic-Con Revolution. Thousands of fans are getting ready for the annual convention in Ontario happening this weekend. And here to tell us more is the organizer, Drew Selden and Angie Viper. Welcome to both of you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. We're very so, excited. Yeah. So this is the sixth year. Yes. Is that right? For but I mean, it's just grown. It's exploded. Oh, absolutely. We started in 2017, mm -hmm. uh, probably with about 5,000 people. And this mm -hmm. year we're expecting between 12 and 15,000. Wow, that is amazing. And I mean, every year people get to see different things. Oh, absolutely. It's bigger and better than ever before. New guests, new exhibitors, uh, bigger and better artist alley, new cosplay contest. There's just going to be so much going on all weekend. And speaking of cosplay contest, we have to talk to you, That's Angie me. Viper. <laughs> but explain to our viewers who you're dressed up as and what the whole ideas behind it. Um, so I'm dressed as Jetpack Jules today and she's actually the mascot of the convention uh, featured shirt. here on Drew's shirt. Um, so I've been dressing as Jules since gosh day one like the first year of yeah. the convention uh, um, and it's just a way to kind of make the events a little more interactive and immersive. Yeah. We have a different artist do a design of Jules every year um, and then I'm there at the convention to kind of interact with people and I run their costume contest and oh, wow. is it fun to like see all these people dressed up like you? <laughs> Uh, I wish more people would come <laughs> dressed up as Jules, honestly. Um, but it's it's really great seeing all of the different costumes that everybody comes in every oh, yeah. year and, mm -hmm. and running the costume contest. I really get to see like the best of the best. Yes, yes. It's it's. I, I'm just amazed at how many people are there, and they get to meet so many yeah, different th people. I mean, this year we have coming out. We have a kind of once in a lifetime cast reunion of the cartoon. Avatar The Last Airbender. First time the whole cast has ever been all oh, together. Oh, really? Yes. We've got from the wow. world of wrestling and, and Disney Plus, Mercedes Vernado. We've got from the TV show The Orville, Scott Grimes and Jay Lee. Uh, from Cobra Kai, we've got Karate's Bad Boy, Mike Barnes, Sean mm -hmm. Kanan, Chris Claremont, the father of the X-Men is coming. Marv Wolfman, who did a massive DC storyline uh, called Infinite Crisis, which has been done a zillion times over, is coming. Jim Starlin is coming. There's, it's it's cliche, but there's really something for everybody at the show. <laughs> and, and does it sometimes surprise you at who comes? I mean, are you pinching yourself sometimes thinking this, you started this and now <laughs> look at it? Definitely. It's, you know, it's a, it's a credit to the industry and everyone who's in it and all these people who work so hard. But they hear about a good show. They hear about the Inland Empire. They hear about how great... Uh, our partners are at the Ontario Convention Center and our partners at Show Ready Management and our team at Atomic Crush and the cosplayers who come out. And they, the, the word of mouth about the show has just grown, helped it grow and been so positive. So we love the Inland Empire and we're just so happy to be back in it every year. Yeah, and, and Angie, I have to ask you, is there anybody that you look forward to seeing? Um, Gosh, honestly, I'm really excited about that Avatar cast reunion. <laughs> it's one of my favorite shows. I watched it for the first time in the pandemic and it changed my life, honestly. Mm -hmm. So having all of them together for the first time is really a big deal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, it seems like so much fun. I've never been to one. I've covered uh, these events in the past, but never got to just attend one for fun. Oh, if you, if you want to sneak in this weekend, I will give you a ticket when we get off air. We'll get you a baseball hat so no one will recognize you. Come in and just well, be, I have to dress be, up. be a civilian and yeah, just enjoy you. yourself. Come on. Oh my gosh. Who do you, who's your hero? Who do you want to oh be? Gosh, I don't know. We can put together a costume we have in studio, right? Sure. You can do yeah. that. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, it seems like a lot of fun. We really appreciate you guys coming and Thank talking about us. it. And of course, people can still go. There's still plenty of tickets available, correct? Absolutely. You go to Comic Con Revolution. Com. All the ticket information is on there. All the hours are on there. Anything you need to know about our programming, whatever you need. Perfect. Okay, you can find more information about Comic Con Revolution by going to our website, kcomnews.com, and clicking Scene on TV.